Hello and welcome to week six. This is Angela, your professor for project time management. In week six, uh, we're talking about the Gantt chart. I wanted to create this video to help show you uh, different things and different views uh, we can do with Gantt charts. So one of the things you are required to do for this week is submit it in the tracking Gantt chart view. So I have uh, a file here and this file is provided for you under week six in Fanshawe Online and once you're done this video I'd like you to open it up and try these things for yourself. So the tracking Gantt chart view. Right now we're in the, the regular Gantt chart view. Um, we've also looked at the different views. One of the other views we've looked at is the network diagram which we've focused on so far. Um, if we go back to the Gantt chart view, this is again our regular Gantt chart view but we can also go to the tracking Gantt chart view. So in this pull down menu, selecting tracking Gantt chart, uh, we can put it in that view. Now things have disappeared, we need to go back, uh, scroll back to January 2011, and now you can see our Gantt chart looks a little different. One of the differences is in the tracking Gantt chart view is we have red and blue. Red identifies the critical path, and blue identifies non-critical activities. You can also see in the tracking Gantt chart we have 0%. This is identifying that these activities are 0% complete. And in future weeks we'll look at adding status to our tracking Gantt chart view. So that's one of the things. So for your DEC project assignment this week, you're to submit your um, MS project file in the tracking Gantt chart view. So that's how you do it. Another thing we can do to our MS project files is to add resources and that's one of the things you need to do this week. So what I want you to do to add resources is to go to this pull down menu in the right left hand corner and instead of Gantt chart I want you to pick the resource sheet. And in our resource sheet this is where we list all the resources. So for your um, deck project, you have three resources. You have supervisor, labor one, and labor two. So that's what you'd put here. Uh, for the purposes of this example, I'm going to put um, some different names. So I'm going to put a John Smith. I'm going to put a Sue Bailey. I'm going to put Tom Jones. Steve Cooper. So those are three people that are working on this uh, Delta project, Delta project. And so we've put the people that are working on it. Type means their work, their laborers. Maximum means they're available 100% of the time. So full-time basis, which the default in Microsoft Project is, is an eight-hour day, Monday through Friday. We don't have rates. We'll, um, you'll look at that in your project cost management. So we're going to leave that blank for now. So there are our resources. Let's go back to our Gantt chart view and let's assign those resources. Now I want to be in the regular Gantt chart view. So take it out of the tracking Gantt chart view and put it in the Gantt chart view. And let's assign these resources. So I'm going to double click on contract signing and I'm going to go to the resource tab and I'm going to assign John Smith to this task and 100% means he's working full-time um, the full five days, uh, eight hours a day. Okay, so in selecting that you can now see John Smith has been assigned to this task and if we open this up you can see resource names, John Smith's name is assigned to that. So let's go to our second task and let's put Sue Bailey against this task. Okay. Task 3, so I'm going to double click on task 3 and let's put two names against this. So let's put Tom Jones and let's put Steve Cooper. There are two people working on this task at a, at a full time basis. 
the next activity, I'm going to put John Smith on this one. So John Smith is responsible for both activities A and D. Let's go to develop presentation. So let's have Sandra Hobbs do this one. Analyze results. Let's put Ian. He's responsible for this activity. Okay. Demographic analysis. Oh, let's put Sandra. We'll do that. And our presentation to our client. Um, let's put Ian on this. So that's how you assign resources um, in Microsoft Project, and again, you'll be doing this for your Microsoft, for your DEC project, so you'll have three resources, Supervisor, Labor 1, Labor 2, and you need to assign them to each activity. So who's doing which activity? The other thing I'm asking you to do this week is to use different types of relationships, and I showed you in the video last week, but I just thought I'd show you again um, in the video this week. So, um, right now, all of our re, uh, relationships are in the default mode, so A doesn't have any predecessor activities. So as you can see, they're all in the finish to start type relationships. And I want you to try different relationships this week and look at ways that you can maybe shorten your, your critical path by using different types of relationships. So let's look at um, presentation to client. So we have that that it can't be done or started till all ac other activities are complete. But let's say we really think about this and you can start the presentation at least um, when most of the things are done. So let's change this so right now we can't start it till analyzing results and demographic analysis is complete. So I'm going to change this to a start to start relationship. So I can start making the presentation once um, they've started analyzing the results. So let's give them, it takes four days to analyze results, so let's say we can start um, making the presentation once they've done about one day's worth of work on analyzing the results. And same thing for demographic analysis. We don't have to wait till they're completely done this activity. So once they've started, um, let's say, you know, maybe they're about halfway done, so five days into the nine day activity, and we can start making our presentation. So let's change those. And as you can see, um, we've now moved this presentation So that doesn't make a lot of sense that we'll be done doing the presentation um, before the results are being done, being done analyzing. So maybe we can change this then, um, that also another, let's add analyzing results again. Okay, and let's change this to a finish to finish. So we can't finish doing our presentation until the results are being, are being done being analyzed. And let's put, it's about one day, we need at least one day after the results are analyzed uh, to finish doing our presentation. Okay, it's not letting us do that. So why don't we change this to a finish to finish. Okay, so we can do our presentation um, and a one day lag. So let's see what that does. There we go. Okay. So we don't need to wait for those activities to be completely finished. And we've reduced our overall project time by applying these t different types of relationships and lags. So hopefully this helps you with your deck project. You should be looking for ways to incorporate different types of relationships and lags into your deck project and also assigning resources.